Hey, in the forest again. And this time I would like to talk about a book that I read many years ago in French, uh, Qui a piqué mon fromage? And in English it would be Who Moved My Cheese? written by Spencer Johnson. And it's about two mice trapped in a maze and they have to find their cheese every day and to sustain them and to give them happiness. So every day they run and run and then they find the cheese and they eat and they're happy. But then one day the cheese is not there. And then one mouse, he sits there crying and he says, oh no, the cheese is not there, it's not fair. It's always been there and I'm gonna wait until the, the cheese comes back. And the other mouse says, well, if the cheese is not here, then the cheese must be somewhere else. So he takes off running. And this is a book that actually uh, is all about attitude to change. In how far can you adjust to the change? And how far can you make something negative into something positive? And this, this book, especially in this book, it's about when you don't take things for granted and you know that sometimes you have to fight for something to get it uh, that's where you strengthen yourself you know when you say that weak people create hard times and strong people create good times well this is also with these two mice so when this cheese can be a symbol for you know your job relationship but also freedom you know, if you take your freedom for granted every time and then it's taken away from you, you can either sit in a corner and cry about it or you're going to stand up and try to get it back and make it a positive swing to it. And you know, it's freedom has been taken away from us through fear, but fear is nothing but f fake evidence appearing real. So and when you move beyond fear, that's where you feel free. So change, there is always change in life. It's all about what, how do you respond to it? What's your attitude? You know, keep a positive attitude, fight for it. You know, people, they have, you know, those spoiled, rotten generations. We've been taken all the richness and freedom for granted. And then when it's taken away from us, we're sitting there like spoiled, rotten kids, like, oh no, I want to get it back. And, and no, it is, go, you stand up, you fight for it, and then you'll get it back. And then you will never take it for granted after that. It's, it's like getting sick. In my case, when I got sick, you know, I never thought it was such, it was, would be such a, a big thing that would completely destroy my life. I took my health always for granted and when I got sick, you know, I lost my job, uh, I lost my house, I had to go back to Holland. Uh, I lost so many things and the only thing I care about, because that's, that's what it is, is if you don't have your health, then you have no life. So you, I will never take health for granted anymore. Uh, I thank God every day that, you know, I'm healing each and every day and I'm sticking to my plan, you know, with the carnivore diet, the dry brushing, the whole list, and, uh, and I will get there. I'm on my way. <laughs> and uh, if the cheese is not on this station, then, you know, you'll find it somewhere else. You know, in, in, in Dutch there's a saying, you know, wanneer er ergens een deur dicht gaat, dan zet God ergens een raampje open. So I will uh, leave you with that today and uh, see you in the next video.